10 seconds. 10 seconds. Uh, a little bit of volatility here, as always, heading into the event. Okay, five seconds. Here we go. Oh, 0.3% for the quarter-on-quarter trim mean. That's, quarter that's, quarter trim mean. that's a big miss. Flat, headline quarter and quarter flat for the headline quarter-on-quarter quarter quarter CPI. Weighted median, a huge miss at 0.1. Year-on-year headline at 1.3. And year-on-year weighted median at 1.2. Trimmed mean CPI year on year at 1.6. That is a huge miss across the board. That's a rate cut right there by the RBA. We can hold these trades. There is hundreds of pips to the downside. We have nailed it spot on. That is a huge miss. And we're going to see a rate cut, possibly even at the next meeting in May. The Aussie will stay under a lot of pressure and there's plenty of room to the downside. So we've nailed that trade. We've planned it out very well. You can see we started to formulate the idea for the trade back on the 11th of April. So that's nearly two weeks ahead of the actual CPI release. Now, if we jump over here to the chart, we can see we faded the move. We waited for a bit of a spike up on the back of the jobs report, and then we began to execute our plan as the Australian dollar started to fall. Now, less experienced traders would have looked at this positive jobs report and thought it's a signal to buy because they're not understanding the bigger picture. Meanwhile, we took the opportunity to sell into this because we're several steps ahead. You can see we made the call after the jobs numbers came out, sell Aussie now and hold for next week's CPI miss which is exactly what we've done. Nice chunk of profit floating there. So traders, I hope watching this video has given you a good taste of how we trade FX at the fund and what level we expect you to be operating on after you've built your experience with us.